Bonjour! <laughs> to make French grammar a little bit more fun, I'm going to answer your questions with a video. The first question was about uh, the expression combien de temps, which is correct to translate as how long, although if you look at it more word for word, combien is closer to, to how much and the temps of time, how much of time, that of course doesn't make much sense said like that in English, but for how much time have you been doing something, for instance. For instance, you would have to use the preposition dans before the expression combien de temps, so that it would resemble in English something like in how much time, it would sound like this. Dans combien de temps allez-vous en France? In how much time are you going to France? Dans combien de temps allez-vous en France? Ah, vous allez en France dans une semaine. You are going in a week, for instance. You can use a number of different prepositions in front of combien de temps. We've just heard it in dans combien de temps, in how much time will you perform a certain action. You could also use it with en combien de temps. Do you perform an action? In this case, the meaning would be more like, uh, in how much time can you perform this? For instance, en combien de temps pouvez-vous compléter une leçon? In how much time can you complete a lesson? En combien de temps pouvez-vous préparer un repas? In how much time can you prepare a meal? And you would reuse that preposition in your answer. For instance, uh, je complète une leçon entière en 30 minutes. Je prépare le repas du soir en 40 minutes. Okay? And a third way to use uh, combien de temps would be with the preposition pour. Pour combien de temps? In this case, the meaning would be closer to for how long will you keep doing this? You could use it, for instance, in a situation like Pour combien de temps allez-vous parler à la caméra? <laughs> For how long will you be talking to this camera? Pour combien de temps allez-vous répondre à des questions de grammaire? For how long will you keep answering questions about grammar? And again, you would reuse this preposition pour in your answer. Je réponds aux questions de grammaire pour or pendant, actually, pendant cinq minutes. During five minutes or four or five minutes. When you use the expression combien de temps with um, the conjunction depuis, you change the meaning uh, towards asking the person for uh, since when. Uh, the translation of depuis is since. So since when or since how long, since how much time, which again, of course, is not how you would word it in English. You could ask depuis combien de temps connaissez-vous les picards? For how much time have you known this, these people? The focus would be on uh, the amount of time, something a little bit more that you can quantify. Uh, je les connais depuis uh, trois mois. Je les connais depuis trois ans. So you would be likely to answer with a duration of time. Uh, to contrast with uh, the question, Depuis quand connaissez-vous les Picards? Since when do you know them? You would probably rather answer this one with a date. Je connais les Picards depuis 2005. The second question was about uh, the difference between car and parce que. As far as I know, there isn't that much difference in terms of the meaning. Car sounds a little bit more formal. I know in Quebec we definitely do not use it very much at all. Uh, we'll prefer parce que, uh, but really in terms of meaning, um, pourquoi dois-tu partir? Je dois partir parce qu'il est tard et je dois aller chercher ma fille à l'école. Would, it would be just as fine to say, pourquoi devez-vous partir? Je dois partir car ma fille va terminer l'école dans quelques minutes. It's just um, a comfort 
thing, I think. Um, Quebecois are rather casual with their uh, word choices, so we prefer parce que, car is just as good. The third question was concerning uh, ways to introduce yourself. Uh, how do you give your name? Of course, je m'appelle Karine is fine. Uh, mon nom est Karine is quite formal. Um, personally, I often use bonjour, moi c'est Karine. Even je m'appelle sounds a little bit stiff to me. So, um, it's not rude or impolite to use bonjour, moi c'est Karine, et vous? Comment vous appelez-vous? Or, et vous, c'est inviting the person to finish the sentence. But, of course, it's okay to say je m'appelle Martin, mon nom est Martin, moi c'est Martin. Enchanté. The last question for today was how to use uh, reflexive verbs or uh, les, les verbes pronominaux. Uh, je m'appelle was an example of that. Je m'appelle Karine. Tu t'appelles Martin. Um, as a joke, I used to call those verbs like the happy couple, the verb and the pronoun. You do not want to mix yourself into a happy couple. You stay out of it. So you should not bring any other pronoun in between the reflexive pronoun and the verb. In other words, je, m, Appel, the m and appel will always stay together. Tu appel, t'appel stay together. You cannot put any other pronouns in between. So in a case like if you wanted to ask something like, um, vous vous adressez souvent à Monsieur Dubois and wanted to reply, no, I never talk to him. You would have to just like in English keep the to him at the end of the expression. Non, je ne m'adresse jamais à lui. So that your m, the reflexive m, and adresse, your verbs stay together. Don't mess up the happy couple. Okay? Um, another example was, uh, do you remember Luke? Est-ce que tu te souviens de Luke? You would reply with, Oui, oui, je me souviens de lui. I have um, remembrance of him. I have memories of him. Or, uh, non, je ne me souviens pas de lui. Okay, I hope that was helpful. Please send other questions. I love it. This is fun. Au revoir, à bientôt.